Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much to everybody who's joined me recently. We've got the strange number of like influx of subscribers in the past two or three weeks, which is pretty nice. And hi to the guys I play D&D with, because they discovered the channel as well. It was pretty cool. Um, this week, I, I decided I would make something to follow up on the Imperial Knight series, because I haven't done anything on it for a while. I didn't want it to be another one of those series that doesn't go anywhere. So, you've seen the Melted Gun already. The melt gun and the progress I've made with trying to get the sort of red hot glow with that, but I haven't shown you the rest, the sort of fire effects and flames and stuff that I've been painting and the, the finer details and stuff. So what I'm going to do today is just run you through all the steps that I've been through since I built the night. It's been months. It has been nearly four, nearly four full months since I did anything on the nights in terms of like just posting videos. I've been painting them on and off regularly. And uh, I just wanted to show you all the different things that I've managed to do in that time. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you think of my free blade heraldry, the, the kind of custom paint job that I've done. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to run you through everything I've done, and you let me know what you think in the comments, and any improvements you can make, or any, any kind of changes or things you think I could have done better. Yeah, so these are what it looked like after I um, base coated, not even base coated, but just sprayed the models down with just some Abbott and Black, same as always. Then I grabbed my gunmetal, which you guys asked a lot about. A lot of you guys are asking about the gunmetal paint, which unfortunately is out of circulation. I think Vallejo do a version now, but Citadel don't. That's just basically what it looked like whenever I had the full uh, bottom layer of dry brushing metal onto it. I've done a lot more metal effects since that and you'll see it whenever the model's finished but to get the initial metal effect that gun metal dry brush was a really really good effect. I got some lead belcher on there as well when I ran out of gun metal but it's basically indistinguishable. Then I kind of I moved on to do some shading before I did anything else so I did null and oil in the gaps and the kind of recesses just really get a, a darker effect on those uh, recesses and, and more detailed mechanical parts and then I started filling in the more specific mechanical parts like the masts and the, the uh, exhaust and stuff like that and basically just base coated the major parts of the model. Then that's what it looked like after the base coats were done. A bit rough looking but it gradually improved and I'm, I'm really proud with how it eventually turned out which you'll see just in this next part. So you can see it's much darker there and um, I wanted to show you basically just how I managed to get the flame heraldry done. I basically I lay, layered some yellow flames and then dry brushed some black over the top, some Abaddon black I think, or just plain oily black. And then I used loads and loads of different layers of yellow, orange and red, including Iandon Dark Sun, Ariel Yellow, Mephiston Red, Fire Dragon Bright, and there's loads and loads, any, basically any yellow, red or orange that I can get my hands on, I layered and layered and layered and layered over and over and over again on the pauldron as well as on the right flank of the, the carapace. I'm going to do this down the right hand side maybe of the leg as well just to give that one side of, of flames and the other side of more traditional heraldry with splits in the colours and stuff so I'm, I'm, I hope you like how it turns out. Basically this is the effect that I got. Yes, so as always, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're new, speak to me down below, we'll chat to you about anything at all. I will be starting from next month onwards a kind of fitness and strength related podcast of sorts on my other channel, this one. If you have any questions that you might need answered on fitness or anything like that, leave them in a comment or send me in a, in a message on Instagram or whatever and I will answer them on that podcast and I'll give you links and stuff where you can follow that. That is my main job, is working in fitness with strength and conditioning and stuff like that. If you're interested in asking, answering, ask, answering, or asking, asking any questions, feel free to submit them whatever way you like, and I'll try and get them answered um, as comprehensively as possible. Otherwise, yeah, remember to stick around, see other videos coming. I've got some D and D miniatures videos coming soon, some more kind of creative style stuff. I haven't bought minis for a very long time, but I've got a back stock of ones that I haven't painted yet, and hopefully we'll get into them nice and soon. So I will hopefully see you again very soon.